Yo guys, Spiderbot here. What do you think? Mob of the Dead, the easiest map ever in the history of Call of Duty Zombies. I don't know, but I'm going to show you the most epic zombie killing team here today. And it's not who's playing the characters. It's not who's controlling the characters. It's the freaking epic weaponry that they all have. All right, let's first start off with Hell's Redeemer. Hell's Redeemer, I think... I've even seen reports of it being, like, I don't think anybody's even seen it be a not a one-hit kill at whatever round they've made it to. I mean, 40-plus, easy, it's still a one-hit kill. We're getting reports back. I haven't gone with it past round 40. I mean, I've gone to round 30-something, I think. Uh, but, yeah, one-hit kill, insane. I mean, you're killing five to seven zombies every single time you throw this epic piece of equipment. Add to that... The golden spork. <laughs> it's a spork. It's a freaking spork. Are you kidding me? It's a one-hit kill up until round 34. At round 34, it starts being a two-hit kill. And I'm sure it's a two-hit kill for quite some time. It'll eventually be a three-hit kill as well. Insane. That's your melee weapon. All right. Third thing. If you're playing, especially if you're playing four-player co-op like we were, five blundergats. That means you could have... Four sweepers and a vitriolic withering. You can have four vitriolic witherings, a, a sweeper. You can have any combination. Each player can have one version of the Blundergat, and one player can have two versions of the Blundergat. Honestly, it doesn't even matter what the other three, you know, what those the other three players only have the one Blundergat. It doesn't matter what their other weapon is. Who cares? You don't need it. You don't need it anyway. Oh, my God. Yeah, so... Honestly, I think with this setup, with this equipment, uh, co-op, four-player, the sky's the limit. I mean, the limit on what round you can get to is dictated by the amount of time you have, period. Or your internet connection, or your Xbox overheating, or whatever you're playing on. Um, you're almost, it's almost like you're invisible. I mean, add to that to the zombie shield, even. The zombie shield... Uh, and especially if you're running in, in the cafeteria, but everybody has a zombie shield. I mean, that's even added protection. If I, I've gotten stuck, I've gotten stuck in corner by the zombies uh, with a zombie shield, and I've made my way out. I've been able to get out using the spork or the combination of the spork, the hell's redeemer, and whatever blunder gat. I mean, the sweeper is pretty epic. Like it just blows through zombies like they're freaking paper. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, once you have all this stuff, it's like you can run to run. Honestly, you can run to whatever round you want. And, and you know, I, I don't think at least co-op we're really interested in doing that because of our, our time schedules and the fact that we're playing over the Internet. Solo, I mean, it's not even it, – it's easier. It's, it, it almost seems easier than, than Ascension running solo with this type of weaponry. Uh, so I, it's, I don't know. It's, it's pretty good. But I think, you know, I, I had this discussion before about – Easy maps versus more difficult maps. And I honestly think, yes, they've made it very, very easy here. But I honestly think that that will improve or add to the longevity of the map. People will enjoy it more. If it's really, really difficult and people have a hard time with it and they can't get to good rounds and they can't get decent guns or equipment or whatever, I think the map tends to fizzle out a lot more quickly for a lot more players. Whereas I think with this map... You know, not only to mention that the the epicness of the map itself, like it's pretty, it's a pretty damn good map. Um, but add to that the fact that you can get all this equipment; it can, it, it it's it's fairly easy to run to higher rounds. I think just increases the longevity of and the playability of the map. So, what's your opinion? I don't know. The epic zombies team, freaking five five blunder gads, four hell's redeemers, four golden sporks, and. Four zombie shields, and who cares what else? Claymores, frags, I don't know. You can get de upgraded death machines, whatever you want. And I'm sure you could use the same trick with the um, the afterlife that we did in order for those other three players to all get death machines if you really wanted to and upgrade them. So, <laughs> I don't know. What? Uh, yeah, like I said, what do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, we'll have uh, more Mob of the Dead for you coming very, very soon. I'm Spider, and I'm out. Take my advice and don't gamble what you can't afford to lose. Strengthen 
numbers is all you've got going.